Hello and welcome, I'm Carbon Chili and this is the extravaganza that is my channel, where we play professional games unprofessionally. So if it does entertain you in any way, please consider liking or subscribing. So we're back in Kentucky. At night time, I'm looking pretty cool here with my new hat. Um, and I think we need to smoke a cigarette first. Now, something seems to be a little buggy with my mouse. Ah, uh, there we go. Got it back. Now, we've only, we've only got one round, so let's smoke a cigarette very quickly. And then we scold. It's three degrees, I can put the jacket on. Uh, we'll put this leather jacket on and then we'll open another box of 308 rounds and get them on ourselves. Now, that's putting me a little bit heavy. What can we put? Let's put this pistol in the backpack because that's almost nothing. Painkillers in the backpack, that's also almost nothing. Those on the keys. Uh, we are carrying almost nothing else, so let's put that in there. That's fine. So, what we actually needed to do here was make a run back to the other car um so we could grab the car take everything out of the back the couple of zombies there it's night time i've got dark vision so i managed to spot them let's see if we can get a good shot very good uh oh not so good let's Let's get Billy Bat on, because I can take these quite nicely with a bat. No risks though, no risks. No risks. No risks taking. Ah, shoot! Sure. That was not good. Did I actually get bitten there? Oh! That was lucky, lucky, lucky. I was so lucky, 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 lucky. Um, do you know I'm going to put these gloves on? They're not fantastic, but, and I want to pick up my hat. Oh, that was a dirty piece of dirty. That's why I said no, no, no risks. And I, I didn't listen. I, I, I took a risk. Now, where did my hat go? Put my hat on. Uh, I took a risk, and I shouldn't have taken a risk. Let's put this in both hands. Reload, reload. Oof, that could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Um, but I managed to dodge away quite well. Now, this is night time. I don't really know what's happening around here i don't think it was this car i think it was the other car now i didn't really search the bodies of those is it this one that doesn't look like oh it's got the stars fairly sure it was this one no then it must have been this white one unless it was that black one or did i leave it somewhere Did I leave it somewhere? Maybe get in the right seat. No key. Ooh. Oh, I left it by the petrol pump, didn't I? I remember now. Across the road. Those stars are beautiful. First time I've noticed that. The stars reflecting on the window. Now we need to come. I don't think I've got any tools, but. Can we replace the battery in this? Maybe, maybe a battery is all we need. Do I have, I need a screwdriver. This van is almost in perfect condition. 
almost remaining 7.45 condition 89 and then the gas tank what do i need for the gas tank recipe basic mechanics a screwdriver and a wrench um now this would be a good place to come back and increase my mechanics because i could fix the van that has broken down because those vans are pretty useful um we left the car here trying to get petrol now i'm going to have one more go at trying to get petrol he needs a drink mr chili needs a drink uh let's give him some orange soda because that then gives him the food as well food and energy it's like an energy drink almost um i mean this is definitely the place to increase our mechanics i bet you in the back there there is some kind of wrench or tire wrench or maybe even a screwdriver huh? i don't believe we've checked this building oh no it's the shop i believe i may have okay so let's get in the car get in the car and let's pop the key in we do need to get petrol in this i mean it's much niftier than the van but that's possibly a bad thing possibly a bad thing i mean that's got to be close enough refill from gas pump oh no that's right i think i was too far away before that was the problem uh which is fine perfectly fine now i could head up the other road but that is taking us away from moldraw and ultimately our goal is moldraw to find or try and find some materials some sledgehammers maybe more vehicles um our man here chili is going to start getting tired pretty soon it is four o'clock in the morning so i think what i'm best doing is maybe loading up the car uh and then seeing going back reading some books for mechanics and then seeing if i can come back here and repair the van i think that might be the best idea i believe that the trunk in this car oh there's a pistol as well ooh, quite good pen uh let's pop this pistol in our bag i don't think we want to leave it here um let's drive ourselves off and go and empty ah, that was probably a bad idea um oh crazy crazy let's just get down this road and then we can try and take out the zombies we're a little bit down here so we should lose the break break and backwards we need to give ourselves a little bit of a space get out so now we should see where these zombies are coming down because we should be able to shoot some of these i did not mean to say hey you not a good idea i don't think they're coming after us i think it's too far but if we go after them that might be a, a a good thing in case so that we don't run into them a little bit later um there are a lot of zeds around here in these woods at night my man is going to get tired soon as i just mentioned come on run, run carbon with your your police hat on you're doing the job of three policemen now uh what do we do if we go there good another one last bullet before a reload 
I need to count my reloads properly. That, that's a good shot. Go on. Al almost. Almost. Very good. Reload. And I think, there were, I'm sure there are a couple more than that. So, there we go. Um, I'm sure there are more in these woods. Don't want to run into them later. It's better to get them all killed now. And then, there's a picnic ground there. I remember that now. Now I'm just shooting arbitrarily, which is a bit of a waste of ammunition. Not good. Go in the head. Turkey shoot. Turkey. <laughs> My nice turkey impression. I'm checking them because they may have uh they may have keys on them. It's the only thing I may or may not be interested in. Overalls, worn overalls, denim, boxers. I believe that's a stew of some some sort. I may have checked it before, that's a cooler box. Is there anything there? Loot, water, uh cooler meth. Another cooler box. Oh, we'll grab the chips. Chips are always a good thing. So, let's get ourselves back to the car um, so that we can start emptying it. And then I think what we'll do is we will uh, head back to a safe place, go and sleep for the night. Five o'clock in the morning already. I'm sure he's getting pretty tired. I don't want to leave all this stuff in, in, I don't want to leave it all in the car. So I'll dump it on the floor first. 40. Let's check this other vehicle first. 15 of 31. Tire. Let's dump that tire. Dump the toilet paper. Uh, here, what do we want? We want everything. So, let's dump it on the ground. I think we'll keep the food ourselves. I mean, I can't think of what else. What's this? Oh, sorry, much. Uh, okay, so what's on the ground? We want that. We don't want to loot all. We want to take that. All of that up to there. And put it in there. All the machine, the scrap metal we may put in our bag. Bottle of water. Maybe we can put that in our bag as well. Just to reduce some weight a little bit. Uh, that's a spare shotgun. Um, we have another one in the bag. Uh, we do have another one in the bag, so that might have to go in the back seat of the car or something. Uh, rip sheets as well. So these are the important things that need to go in the back of the Ah, oh, the shotgun won't. Or the sewing kit, it will. Fine, it will. So, the shotgun will put on ourselves for the moment. And then we'll jump in the car and pop it on the in the gullop compartment, I believe. Uh, so, where is it? Glove compartment. Uh, glove compartment. So it won't fit in the glove compartment, okay? It might fit in one of the back seats or something. Uh, we'll go on a seat. There we go. This stuff here, let's take the twine ourselves. Lipstick. 
you know, I'll take the pack. Yeah. I'll take the all of this I will take actually. I will take myself, the lipstick and the wallet, I will take, I'll get out. Uh the wallet I'm gonna dump on the floor, the lipstick I'm gonna dump on the floor. And I'm going in my bag. Okay, I think we need to make a trip back and dump some stuff in the house and maybe make a come on start baby start why are not you starting oof i don't like it when they don't start first time causing problems so i like these little zippy zippy chevaliers uh, they do tempt me to drive a little bit too fast and have crashes like that, uh, although I didn't manage to crash. Um, they don't appear to have brakes, they just have a, like a reverse, a bit like GTA 1, um, which I was thinking I might try and play here on the channel sometime, just for a bit of fun, uh, it's been a while. Um, the other thing I was thinking about for the channel was I I'm going to do a series of itch.io games which are all free. I think they're all free. I did make up a little bit of a list the other evening. Um quite a mix of strategy, um beat 'em up, there's even a driving game on there. Um so we'll have a look, and may, they may not last very long, the videos. They might be 15 or 20 minutes. Um, some of the games are web browser or HTML5 games, but they're interesting to have a look at. Um, so we're just making it back now, driving quite a long way. I believe we're, we're miles out. Ah, oh, that's not exactly not very good. Uh, I kind of should have been looking where I was going. <laughs> this is what happens to all the vehicles, unfortunately. Now, luckily, on this road, there aren't that many, and if I know now to travel on the outside lane, then we should be alright. Slow down. Ooh. And now we've managed to Still an awful lot up here, and we've certainly cleared three quarters of the way to Moldraw, so it should be an almost clear sailing to get there. And uh, West Point, I think it's West Point. I can never remember the name of this place. Uh, West Point is almost. Oh almost devoid of zombies now. Now unfortunately I've buggered the car again, uh, pardon my language. Let's just have a quick smoky smoke. Uh, give him a smoke. Let that stop. Um, in a while I may come back and investigate these houses but as I mentioned before the priority is to get a sledgehammer so we can break into the shop um, gun shop and then I guess the aim is to get ourselves to Louisville um, or even build a, a more protective Base. I mean, there was a zombie there. He didn't spot me. Uh, I vaguely spotted him, but there are very few of them around uh, West Point now. Certainly nothing you can't handle quite easily. Um, no, no big scares. There might be one or two left in houses wandering around. Uh, <laughs> Billy no mate, but zombie. Yeah, just in time, he's just getting drowsy. 
So I will park up the car here. And come on. Park up. I'm going to leave the key in. Get out. Now I need to do a little bit of exercise. And as I've done some exercise, I will then um, go and sleep for a while and read. So to do some exercise, the first thing I need to do is I need to relieve him of his backpack. I need to relieve him of his hat. So un, uh, unequipped, probably a good idea to take off his jacket, his hoodie. Okay, um, that's fine. So now we need to get him doing some 20 minutes of burpees. Now, I'm wondering if he will do it with his gun in his hand. Okay, he will. So, that will set him off doing his exercise routine for uh, 20 minutes or so. And we'll just watch him doing his burpees, his jumping up and down. Um, this is really useful. It will take ages. To level him up. I mean, as you can see, it's I'm doing it every day, and I'm getting maybe a hundred XP a day. So it's going to take quite a while. Um, he's aiming, reloading. Really, is coming on leaps and bounds. Long blunt, meh. Maintenance, quite good. His nimble nimbility is going up. Sprinting two. Um, his metal working, we need just that little bit more metal working. But I'm going to start in reading some mechanics now, uh, so that we can get him repairing those cars. I think that's another priority, um, because I tend to crash cars quite a lot. Uh, my driving is dubious. Should we say? Um, can we see his brakes anywhere? Temperature, no. Uh, no, we can't here. Wonder where it is. Can we see? No. No, it's not there. Not there. Yeah, maybe we can't see it anymore. Uh, okay, so he's finished his exercise. He's awfully tired. Let's go and get him a drink first of all, and then pick up his stuff and a drink. He needs the painkillers because in the morning he's going to hurt like a, like a nobody knows. Uh, he's carrying a little bit of weight, but we need to pick this. A lot of shotgun shells on the floor still. And chips and cigarettes and beef jerky. Oh no, that's not on the floor. It's in his backpack. So we want to equip on back first of all. Can we get anything else in there? No. So we need to relieve him of some things. Uh, what is it that we have in here? We've got two MG pistols. Uh, one of them is in good condition, one is rubbish, so let's put that in a, in a box. That's about that. Uh, we've got a 9mm, we've got rounds, shotgun shells, uh, food. So, hoodie. Can we get that hoodie? Can't get either of those in there now. Um, what is it that we don't need here? I mean, most of that stuff we need. Got, okay, the twine we don't need. 
find is definitely not something we need. Crystal we're not holding. Uh, how much overweight is it? It's the coat. Because he's carrying his shotgun and his pistol. Nine millimeter round, it's the 08 round shotgun shells, tank top. I don't think we need the tank top. Let's dump the tank top. We don't need a tank top. Maybe we do in summer, but certainly not at the moment. Candy package we can probably get rid of. Some of these crisps I don't think we need as well. We can dump some of these. He's tired also because he needs to sleep. So let's get him to sleep. So um, what I'm going to do is I think we'll call it today here. Um, I will put him to sleep and then I will get him reading some uh, mechanic books to get his skill up so that next time we can disappear off and try and start repairing some bands. Um, making our way through to Moldor safely. So, this has been Project Zomboid, and I've been Carbon Chili. Thank you. Mm -hmm.